Tracy Neville is with us, and we have got to number one, the big one, in terms of Tracy Neville's top five female sporting icons. Let's do it. Number one. Now, number one is a very... I was expecting a video then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is a, a very... I've got a feeling you you might uh, you might see some tears here. I'm, 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 I think I'm going to go, but go for it. Who's your number one? <laughs> um, the number one is my mum. Um, you, people ask why, and I said, you know, at the time I didn't have any female role models. Um, female, female ambassadors and role models weren't in the public eye at that po particular point when I was growing up. But she orchestrated three children to be international players. Um, she had three kids under the age of two. Um, she had my dad, who was worked away quite a lot when we were young. But you know what? She never stopped sport. She was out every single night playing netball, hockey, rounders. Um, and she took all three of us with her. She showed that there was no barriers to her playing sport, and she showed us that there were no barriers to us playing for sport. And she made sure we got to all our sporting events. Um, and obviously, she run the house as well. And I look, I look at her, and I think that is something that says that when you know you can achieve anything, there's no barriers to anybody getting out that house. Um, because we didn't have, we wouldn't have a lot of finance um, finances at that particular time, but you know, every bit of support, and that was just down to just love, support, um, and just, yeah, just true true grit from my mum. It's uh, an amazing thing, and you nearly got me going there. Just held it together. <laughs> just held it together. When you put it in those terms, three international uh, sports, that is, it's mind-blowing, really. Um, what a family. And when people will be listening and thinking, hang on a minute, uh, three kids under the age of two, you and Phil are twins, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, people forget that. Nobody, don't they? I, I know they they do forget that. Oh, they think that um, Gary might be my twin or something right. like that. But <laughs> I'm, def I'm definitely nothing like Gary. <laughs> well, you getting getting me all emotional there it means that you've bought yourself a bit of time. So I think we'll only have time for two of these questions. <sighs> so here we go. Okay. Who's your favourite brother and why? Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's a bad. Can we go to number two? <laughs> Can I phone a friend? Actually, let me let me <laughs> let me rephrase it. Which brother would you least like to be stuck in a lift with? Oh, Gary. <laughs> it would have to be Gary because he'd be so opinionated about how he could get out. Gary thinks he can solve every single issue, so he'd be thinking he's the best maintenance man in the world. So he'd be trying to get out that lift, and plus, I think he'd I think he'd lose it after a bit because he's not very good in tight spaces. He's not very good. This pandemic has drove him crazy because it's obviously affected his life. So yeah, Gary would definitely be a person I wouldn't want to stuck in the lift with. And the only other one I've got, your, who is your favourite? United player from the class of 92? <laughs> Gary. <laughs> oh, come on. You, oh, yeah, you just rescued yourself there. <laughs> hey, I need childcare at these <laughs> particular points in my <laughs>